Hello and welcome. My name is Sheepthief. Today I'll be coming at you with episode 2 of The Road to Royal Parthia. So this will be a somewhat... I'm just going to warn you guys, this is going to be a sort of boring episode. There probably won't be any wars. There will probably be, probably be a lot of waiting and sort of scheming about how we're going to do this. For anyone who's new, our goal here is to form the great state of Parthia. Oh, but sheep thief, look right there. There's Parthia right there. Why are you playing as Parthia? These are disgusting Greek Hellenic vassals of the Seleucids. <laughs> The actual Parthians are glorious Iranian steppe people from uh, Parnia, right here. And we... Um, and, and this game is does a great job of, of... It almost does a great job of simulating the, the rise of Parthia. There are a few mechanics which I assure you we will, we will witness that make it pretty painful, but right now we have to we have to accept our lot in 297 BC as just a bunch of backwards uh, heptatic step Iranians dealing with the likes of Xanthians, <coughs> Karasmians, <coughs> Sakians. <coughs> Disgusting. But one day we will be the dominant power in Asia. Then we have to worry about Rome and worst of all my arch enemies the Mauryans. Is Chandragupta still alive? Yeah, Chandragupta is still there. He's still kicking it. Chandragupta is cool. It's his his descendants I I hate them. They're like animals. And I slaughtered them like animals. Not just the men, but the women and the children. Yeah, the Dravidian menace will will come to will come into play all too soon, all too soon. All right, so uh, like I said, this is going to be a long and boring one, and our goal is simply to observe the Seleucids and hopefully. The Bactrians shall abandon them and be 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 left to their own devices and not interfere in our war, which we will trigger when the time is right by conquering Sakia and the remainder of Xanthia, uniting the Dahe, and then forming Parthia. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go. So now we chill. Um, we could probably switch to a money-making stance. Uh, we don't care about that. We definitely don't care about that. This would be good. Don't care about that don't care about that so mercantile stance yes good 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 um, um. 22 we're getting three per month 10 per yeah I think that's a good trade tum to tum turn the other cheek loyalty popularity we do need the popularity Oh, wait a minute, that's... Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so there's things happening here. We just need to keep an eye on the Seleucids. The minute it looks bad for them, we strike. Yeah, we're okay with... I... 
actually, well, yeah, we'll take we'll take decentralization. It doesn't really matter that much. Because when you form Parthia, you become a non-tribe, so whatever. You don't have to go through the whole form, stop being a tribe chain. Where I do need to, okay, yeah, let's bring that down, that down. That could actually probably go way down. Do we have any extra forts that need to go? There's a fort there. That's that's a good fort. Fort there. Yeah, this is all fine. Not too many forts. Our income's pretty good. And we wait. Let's probably get the music going. Occasionally check the Seleucids. They're not at war. They go to war in sort of phases. So one question I have about this is like, do you do you go through this chain and get a province investment? Meh. These are not that good. What is good is this. You get a free city at the end there. That's that's pretty worth. Um, and eventually we'll get all this. So it's not, I, I think you generally just save the money for mercenaries for the war. Stability is nice. Ten loyalty, centralization. Don't care. I just want the stability. Bum 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 bum. So one other thing is that the the mod the the mod oh wait also one thing you really want to do with the Parthians is keep these guys I forget how this works when do you you really want your uh, children getting educated properly interesting so you when can we tutor him Is that only in the mod? Am I crazy? Bribe, execute, give your hands. Weird, okay. It could just be in the mod. So I'm doing this in the vanilla... The vanilla game. But one thing that makes it way cooler is the mod, and I think it also fixes Bactria. So if if you just want to get to Parthia, then get the mod, and it's called what is it called? Just go on the Steam Workshop, and it's the main one. It's called uh, what is it called? What is it called? Ah, oh, I'm so sad. It's a great mod. It one th it actually makes it a little harder because it adds a ton of other step tribes up here. But it also gives you like more military traditions. They're cool military traditions. It adds. It it fixes something in here. Um, it's just a great mod. Like I w I would highly recommend it. Promulgate influence in Macedon. So, okay, yeah. Antigonus is meeting his doom. Discovered himself helping have him flogged. We're losing 50 gold. We can. Let's 
just take the popularity. It's unfortunate that we're taking all this gold loss. So yeah, if you just look at the population, like what you want with Parthia is to get into here, then then you get so many huge amounts of cultures that you can integrate them slowly and you get gigantic levies. Um, yeah. You eventually want to make legions of horse archers and heavy cav. Um, five stability. Uh, I don't really care about tyranny. I think I'll just do this. I don't really care what Bactria thinks they're vassal. The Anyway, yeah, you eventually want legions of um, horse archers and heavy cav, which, because we're going to do Persian rural traditions, the heavy cav is really strong. Heavy cavalry offense, you can see that right there. Your horse archers are also really good. Uh, and then... Then you switch to Persian rural and you like can get Persian Indian so you can you can switch over to the if you well, once you form Parthia you have this choice of like getting in my opinion bogged down over here you want all of the land in here because there's there, it's got a ton of population and they're like 20 different cultures that will all give you a lot of uh, levies um, Last of the Argiraspides. Argiraspides. One of the fabled veterans of the Silver, Sh Silver Shields, the backbone of Alexander's army, is requesting a place to stay in Parnia. They have not often been seen after they betrayed Eumenes by handing him over to Antigonus, as the unit was split up and dismissed by the general. It seems Artemidoros Kelastrotid. Artemidoros Kelastratid was banished from Parthia. He will be welcome. Holy mackerel, look at that military score. Okay. That's just cool, we're gonna accept him. So anyway, you want Mesopotamia down here. Um, the people of Dihistan, is that here? have long opposed our faith and questioned our rule. I don't really... Yeah, we don't care about Heptatic. Eventually we want to switch to Zoroastrian, although... Local tax, local happiness. I don't care about the slaves. That's a lot of them switching to Heptatic, though but we lose three tribesmen. No, we'll just do this. Um, yeah, you want... Where's the geographic map mode? Yeah, so... You want Mesopotamia down here. That's a really good province, but if you don't integrate the cultures, they, they just constantly revolt. And then you've got super high aggressive... So, once we win the war against the Seleucids, uh, most likely we won't, we won't be able to take all of their territory, but we'll, it'll, what will follow is this long period of revolt crushing. Uh, and then the goal is to get that under control by the time you're dealing with the... and then the Morians attack you. And so you need to get into these narrow corridors and have these really brutal wars with the Morians. So that'll be the late game, and if we can take over Moria, or at least diminish them, we're in good shape, and then we can focus on, on this over here. This is sort of a... There are tons, there's tons of population, but all of the different cultures make it... It's impossible. Um, Atropatine, the Medi these are Medeans. 
It's actually Atropatine is actually the the origin. That word is where the word Azerbaijan comes from. Um, you you wouldn't think so, but it is. It's actually a Greek word. Um, five stability. Omen power. Gain three stability. Gain six stability. Let's just take three stability. So, uh, yeah, the Atropatines, aka the Medeans, are, c they can get big, Armenia can also get big, it sort of depends, mm. some nations up here can get kind of big, but this is just a nightmare in here, and you just have to, like, I mean, really what it's about is the cultures. So you've just got all this, you've got Assyrians and Babylonians with tons of populations in there. You want to assimilate them because they give you so many levies. You want to assimilate the Medeans. The Persians, just like getting down here is hard. All this war in here is really difficult. Um, and then eventually it starts getting bombarded by the Mauryans over here. I think it's better to get Iran and Mesopotamia under control than and I don't know because I haven't tried this but then march into Moria because there are look at the population tons of populations and then the more you can control these like funneling areas the more you can deal with Morian laming um, and of course if you can take over all of India you're you're good um, and usually it's it, ro there's it's it's pretty unlikely for Rome to be over here by that point. So if you can subjugate India, you can probably you can probably just use the levies from over here to keep all this under control, and then focus everything else on Rome. I'm not really trying to go for total world domination. It's more about like the challenge of getting Parthia up. Anything, if we successfully do that, then anything after that is just, just gravy. I'm not sure, I, is it the, is it the mod that lets you tutor them? That mod, if it is, that mod is so good, it makes it, you know, like, Building your family is actually fun. The 14th of July, he'll be... He'll be grown up. Is this a, a chick? No, they're two sons. Okay. Who's my wife? Aranuvati. Lunatic. Scholar. Jealous. Selfish. I'm in poor health. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for the Seleucids to go to war. Sarmatia's getting gobbled up by something. Bosphorans, okay. Looks like there's some... Some brutal stuff happening over there. Three tyranny, five stability, local tax for ten years. What's our tyranny at? I think we'll just... For ten years. Take a look here. Egypt. It looks like the, there's still sort of an Antigonid, Antigonid remnant. It's dealing with some more minor factions, although 
Where's Thrace? Thrace has been gobbled up. So the Antipaters are... They're just, uh... They're going crazy. How's Epirus? Not good. Rome is growing. Etruria seems to be consolidated in that, but it probably won't last. Sukas. Oh. That's our leader. Okay. He might be going down soon. Uh, wait. Becoming zealous. Why can't we educate him? I guess that's just... The other one. Alright, whatever. Nothing to do but wait. Bosphorus got pretty big. Egypt doesn't look like it's getting too crazy. Serenica. Carthage doesn't look like it's getting too crazy. Rome is growing fairly fast. Is that Carthage there? No. Syracuse remains in the... Does this guy like us? He's not even loyal. And he's not a good governor. Yeah, that's okay. So we need to appoint a real governor. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. He's more loyal, proud, cruel. Yeah, we'll do this. Astawi Rohini. Yeah, okay. Let's go. So Syracuse remains up in the air. I'm sorry, Sicily remains up in the air. Uh, any barbarian faction? Arverni's gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Six stability for 18 gold. I'll do that. Uh, let's keep going. Brigantians may be growing a little bit. We'll see how long that lasts. ADI, ADI, or however you say that. Doing okay. Etruria hanging in there, but they won't last long. And one question, are you allied with anybody? No. What's usually good is if Carthage and Etruria... Well, I mean, when I played Carthage, allying with Etruria was nice. You can also, like, claim Rome early on. And just attack them really early and snipe them as Carthage. on Seleucids, go to war. Okay, Sogdia. What's going on there? They just showed up. Or maybe maybe I just saw them the revolt break out. How's the back tree doing? Hmm. Okay, wait, what just happened? No, nope, they're not at war. We just simply wait. Um, no, we like him. That's okay. Or 
Bonus income, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Just build up money. What's going on in here? Comania? What is that? Come Comegany? I'm really bad. I don't know much about this, uh, the Anatolian kingdoms at this time. I know Pontus is important. Ten political influence for six stability. Yes. Uh, we could also use all that political influ influence to do even more stability. Um, and then... Okay, the Dahe are growing pretty well. These aren't worth in integrating. Eventually, maybe once we take Sakia, but probably not. Uh, let's just keep going. Military. Yeah, once again, we're going to do Persian rural tradition, so we might as well leave that open. I see these levies are pretty big. Mercenaries, diplomacy, Seleucid, still not at war or anything. Technology, getting nowhere, that's probably the main painful part of this. Characters, missions, none of this matters. Oh, I don't know, we could sacrifice characters, that's pretty cool. Might do that just for fun. Matter of fact, it might be good for a number of reasons. Thirty-five political influence, fifteen stability. Eh. Come on, solution. Let's go to war. The question. I mean, it really has to be Egypt. But there's this. This this Antigonid remnant is acting as a buffer between them, which is unfortunate. So our next best bet is Moria, which is actually good because they can they can actually beat the Seleucids and sometimes break up Bactria from the Seleucids. Mm, so okay, we want that money. Or stability. What's four divided by a hundred? Twenty-five. That's twenty-five months of money versus we'll take the stability. Okay. The main thing that we want there is just the population growth. We actually don't care about the happiness that much. I guess if it got really bad it would be bad, but uh, and then the research points is that like pretty pretty screwed when it comes to research. What's going on here? Scythia. Boss friends are fighting. Uh, Moria is expanding as it always does because it's overpowered. Seleucids are just chilling, unfortunately. At high stability with... They're just sitting there making money. Bactria is still their vassal. Here, looks like it's pretty calm for now. Rome, not getting too crazy. Oh no, barbarians. Okay. So this happens from time to time. This actually happened. This is actually really annoying later in the game. So we will raise the Parthian levy and simply march down there.
Yeah, so one thing we can look at here is is the the defense. Well, that's it's pretty far in advanced. We won't really talk about that, but I will say the defense against the Morians is cent is it, what you have to do is control these narrow passageways through like Pakistan and Afghanistan here. Unfortunately, in this game for some reason, the Morians are capable of Yeah, we'll do that. Um, the Morians are capable of marching like 200,000 troops through the mountains of Pakistan and Afghanistan in the middle of winter in, you know, 300 BC. So, not exactly realistic, but certainly horrible to play against. And you need to trap them here. It's all a bunch. It's a bunch of archers that can be killed with heavy cavalry and horse archers, but it's it's painful. It's really painful. It's, I, I haven't... It's so painful that I haven't actually been able to conquer India or, like, subjugate them in time. Alright. The question is, are these barbarians gone? It looks like they went into Bactria, which probably means we can disband. I suppose I'll... I could wait, maybe a little bit longer okay we've got a military tradition and we're just gonna do um, Persian rural traditions born to ride the Sarmatian and Scythian tribes learn their horsemanship from a young age developing an affinity for the saddle unlike any western culture this knowledge can be put to good practical use when organizing our armies Makes our heavy cavalry and horse archers better. Oh, that's actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Gives us a lot of tribesmen. Scythia at Pontum. Okay, good. And we'll wait one more month and then disband this levy. As you can see, we are getting a substantial amount of money. So the minute the Seleucids get into a gnarly war, we'll, we'll focus on getting Sakia. Yeah, okay. Ten loyalty, local manpower, local tax. Fifteen loyalty, fifteen prominence. Okay, we'll do for 60 months, that's five years. I'd prefer the tax, but this guy has less loyalty. Oh, we get money too? Okay, we'll do the tax. Okay, you're content in life? That shouldn't be that way. Yeah, I guess the tutoring is in the, is, is in the mod. Let's um, arrange a marriage with and I generally just I'm not super good at the like Crusader Kings thing. Where's where's age? Sort by age. Thirty three. Okay, sixteen. Um so tolerant, pious I generally just sort of sort by age try to avoid incestuous relationships and go for those with good stats. I don't know if that works that way, if you guys know all about the um, self-controlled, foolish, just sake. Let's do, let's do this. Badra, tolerant and pious, seven not as much finesse, so. But we do like Marshall probably the most, so we'll do Badra. Oh, that's going to cost a lot. Okay. Whatever. Worth it. And then you need to get married too. We'll marry you to this 19 year old.
Okay, good. Look at that name, jeez. This actually doesn't matter that much because when we when we trigger the event we get our Saces who will start the S our Sassid dynasty. Um, so we will take the stability, yes, 80 stability, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, they're barbarians again. Where are you? Okay, so now we'll raise the... Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to raise the Scythian levy, which should spawn right there. Perfect. Amazing. Blessing. We're gonna get jibated. I think we we are. Okay, barbarians defeated, and now we will simply disband all our levies. Probably lost a lot of money out with all that. Seleucids. Still no wars, unfortunate. No wars from Moria either. Duel of Chiefs. Chief of Sake Clan. Looks like they don't have any other titles. I don't really care if they do that. After Fleur blows. Pankasiki stands as the uncontested winner. Alright. Whoa. What was he? Oh, he's a researcher. Okay, so we need to get a lamb. This really doesn't matter. It's actually pretty nice. You see how a little research we're getting done? Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Come on, Seleucids. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. If we get up to like 2k gold, we might just go for it. Because that, that would probably be enough to just use mercenaries to, to brute force this whole thing. What else is going on here? Not much, really. Looks like the Basques are uh, getting a little uppity. The Edui looks like they got diminished. Nothing too crazy. Grantians done. Or no, they're not done. They're still there. This this is unfortunate. Oh, maybe Pontus is, is doing well. That'd be interesting if Pontus got big. Tropatine isn't looking too crazy. Looks like Bosporus is sort of clamping down on the Scythians. Nothing too crazy in our area. Unfortunately, what we really want is, is war here. That would be bussin'. Gotta sit here and wait, sit here and wait. Sukasa's getting ill. It's okay. Any children yet? 
Is she pregnant? Not yet. Egypt, not too crazy. Judea, small Samaria, lol. Kush, looking big. So far, a pretty, pretty stable game, which is unfortunate for us. What year is it? 283 Yeah, I don't care about that I'm confused, why do I care about this? I might even be able to bring this down. I don't know how much that would do. Got us a little bit more gold. We need to remember to bring that up though, if something happens. I'm not sure, do we have any province investments? Okay, so we could be doing this. Let's check our... We have literally no cities, unfortunate. I think that's the way it is. Yeah. We could maybe do... That's... that's good. Okay, uh, let's just... Might want to just do that. Population capacity, don't care. Let's just do business enticements. Wait, and I'd better not be... Oh, <gasps> no, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. This whole time. Oh, it's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. That whole time, multiple provinces weren't trading. Oh! Let's see how much our money jumps up. Probably a lot, I assume. Maybe not. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about how boring this episode's going to be. Okay, good. We'll import. Let's get... supposed to be admiring Bactrians? I'll be damned. Whoa, another sun, eh? Okay, this is an error. That's important. And then... You need to be watched as well. Okay. 
in the mod you can educate them so that's why I'm sort of uh, my instinct is to keep an eye on them but really it, without the mod you just have to make sure they're getting married I guess so she gave birth at 41 good for her ailing And you, perfect health. You have a child too. Oh, is he in heaven? He died. Wow, that's sad. She died too. They both died in childbirth. Oh, that's brutal. I haven't seen that before. Okay, so you need to get married. Mm, not to one of your family members, please. Let's do this lovely. Whoa. She has a lot of that. Let's do her. We could probably justify keeping that stability high with this for 50. Three stability. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can chill. Come on, Seleucids. Okay. Well, he has good stats. He has really good stats. This is okay. Alright, so I, f I guess I forgot we're a migratory tribe and people elect them so in that case I think we've done enough for you guys I've helped you secure your uh, your bloodline you guys will have to fend for yourselves Oops. okay so now instead we will uh, go to you. Whoa, nothing but daughters. Okay. But you, you are in very poor health. Okay. He's healthy. Dead. 23 years old. Are you married? Yes, you are. Good. What about you? You we will keep an eye on. Okay. Sorry, Sheep Gang. I'm not sure why this is so, uh... So slow. Ooh, God. Rome is getting big. We do not like that. Rome is getting big while these guys are goofing off over here. <laughs> Not entirely ideal. Power base isn't that high. Would be nice to get some nobles here. If we could, oh no, we we aren't even a city. I forgot. Okay. What's going on with the Seleucids? Alliance with Maka. Still have them. Truce with Maka. This something's gonna break out here. And it'll be big. We want them. Do we care if they have food? We'll just.
Ender's Pay. What's 66 divided by 4? 60 divided by 4 would be uh, 15. So it's like a year's or a year and a half's worth of uh, money right there. Unfortunate. Stability is on fire, dude. Okay, so we could be... Some more stability. Our popularity is really good. Come on, do something crazy, Seleucids. Quite unfortunate. Oh, caught red handed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I think we want to do this. Near death. Okay. Let's keep an eye on here. Come on, come on, come on. Gete may, might be getting bigger. Boss runes are getting bigger. It's all really calm in here. Macedon getting big, though. This might be good. This might be the end of the Antigonids. Which might trigger the Seleucids to start, start doing crazier things. Oh no, it's not, though. Macedon's the one getting pwned. This is what I'm saying, you gotta wait, but you gotta bear in mind that Arsaces was born in like one... <sighs> Let me look it up on my phone. My guess is gonna be one, I think he's like 180 BC. So we're still like a hundred years away from the historical Arsaces. So it's as boring as this may seem, it's probably not entirely inaccurate. Let's look him up. What did I say, 180? Eh, I wonder. R. Sacy's. Um. Oh, no. No, I'm wrong. We're actually coming up on it. It's. God damn it. He's 247 to 217 BC. He ruled from 247, so we're actually coming, we're about 30 years away from, from the historical Arsak. Rome is getting bigger, it looks like this got finalized. Inconclusively. Okay. Near death, what's wrong with your infection? Come on, do something crazy, do something crazy. I think they're like locked. It's supposed to be that the Antigonids are just gone. But they're not. What do we have here? Good. Mori is also being really cringe. 
National tax or six stability. I'll take this stability. Come on, come on, come on. We're coming up on an hour. An hour of waiting. Something just happened there. Looks like the Germanics are growing a little bit. We just got up to a thousand gold, that's nice. Carthage is getting a little bigger over here. Some growing Britannic powers. This is still messed up. Stability for sure. Uh, and we will do this to hold that stability there. So this will become the capital. So we could actually start doing this. We'll do that. Yeah. Oh. No, this isn't the event. I thought it was. <sighs> Interesting. Not sure what that means. But that's actually good, because that way we don't have to... Okay, so we might just trigger this uh this event cuz I'm getting I'm getting triggered. What time is it? We're almost at um We're almost at an hour here. Did I get two right there or something? What was that? No, this guy's a good... Well, no, he's actually not that good. But his corruption is really high. Their loyalty will, will be super low. Let's just do that. See what happens. 58 pops into conflict with us? That's crazy. Lack of governor. I think that might have been a mistake. 
Indusake, I think this is the guy. Generous, if governor. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. God, I really don't wanna... Is he corrupt? Oh my god. He's so corrupt. Um, I might have to replace him. Don Tapur, what are you? He has no corruption, and that's pretty good. And he's like our son. Or no, that's that's our old one. Um, cruel, just, proud. Yeah, we're gonna do that. For real. Okay. Looks like that's stabilized. Why are there still all these disgusting Antigonids all over the place? Who's running them right now? What in Tuka's name? No, that's not right. There we go. Demetrius, okay. But he's really old now. Whoa, what happened to him? Did he get blinded or something? As we close this episode out, not a lot has changed except for Rome getting inexorably bigger. Moria and the Seleucids remain dormant. Antigonids still hold batches of territory everywhere from Thrace through Anatolia into Syria. Ptolemy's, again, dormant. Seleucids dormant. Morians dormant. Bosporus is doing okay over here. Armenia is growing. Armenia is growing. Pontus is growing. Um, Getia controls the sort of Dacian region. Macedon. Whoa. Oh, the Bosporans. We don't like Bosporans. Rome is growing big. Carthage is doing all right. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Unmarried ruler. Okay, that's actually fine because you were that that girl was not doing too well. Let's get. Uh, I like this high finesse, crafty, depressed, whatever. Founder. Yeah, we'll do this. What? The age gap. Okay. Am I being shamed right now? Am I at... Okay, let's try that again. Find you a nice 19 year old. Maybe a 30 year old with good marshal. Maybe that's better. That's okay. Okay. You're married. Anyway, to conclude, Rome is consolidated in control over Italy. We are pretty rich. Carthage is doing okay. <sighs> the main issue is just this this lack of activity with the Seleucid. We really don't like that. We really don't like that at all. Something has to break out pretty soon here. The 
question is, are we going to be the ones that have to trigger it? We could just build our way up to like 2k gold. Use mercenaries to maybe be able to win this. The thing is, we, what mercenaries do we even have? We have these, we have 11,000 right there, that's not bad. We'll see. Cappadocia suddenly replaced Pontus, that's a little weird. This is just messed up in here. We don't care about that. Hated Bruce. That's good. So, that's pretty much it. I guess we have to wait for the next episode. We're coming up on the historical deadline of our Stasis. I think if we pass that, we'll just try to trigger the event. Because um, it seems like nothing's happening. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Isn't this guy a really good governor? Yeah, he's okay. That's okay. Alright. Thanks for watching.